Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into one of the biggest flops in the Star Wars universe, the Acolyte. Let's break down what went wrong and why it didn't meet fans' expectations. And before we get started, just a heads up, there will be spoilers in this video. Let's jump right into it. The Acolyte was supposed to be a game changer. It promised to explore the dark side of the Force, which is something we haven't seen much of in the Star Wars universe. But instead of a hit, it ended up being a big disappointment. Here's why. First up, let's talk about the expectations. When Disney announced the Acolyte, fans were super excited. They expected a deep dive into the mysteries of the dark side, with cool characters and exciting stories. But the show didn't deliver on those promises. Fans felt like the story was slow and confusing. Instead of a thrilling dark side adventure, we got long, boring scenes with characters we didn't care about. It was hard to follow and didn't keep up our interests. Time is precious, especially in a show. If the story drags, viewers quickly lose interest. In The Acolyte, many episodes felt like a filler, with not much happening to move the story forward. This made it tough for viewers to stay engaged. Secondly, Character Development In Star Wars, we love our heroes and villains, but in The Acolyte, the characters felt flat and uninteresting. We didn't get to know them well, and they didn't have the depth we expected. Think about the characters we love from the other Star Wars stories, like Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, or Obi-Wan. We care about them because they're complex and we see them grow. In The Acolyte, the characters didn't have the same depth. They felt more like placeholders than real people. We need to see characters face challenges, make tough choices, and show different sides of themselves. This helps us connect with them. Unfortunately, the Acolyte didn't give us much of that. Thirdly, marketing and hype. Disney hyped up the Acolyte a lot, but sometimes too much hype can be a big problem. When expectations are sky high, it's easy to be disappointed if the show does not meet fans' expectations. Many fans felt let down because the show didn't match the excitement that Disney built up. It's like being promised a super fun ride, but ending up with a slow walk. Hype can be a double-edged sword. It gets people excited, but if the product doesn't deliver, that excitement quickly turns into disappointment. And with Star Wars fans, expectations are always high. But some things were completely wrong, like putting Kiadi Mundi in the wrong timeline, and clearly some of the cast does not even know what Star Wars is, thinking Anakin blew up the Death Star. How Darth Vader is such a bad person, it's very clear, and it's very well established from those actions. But if you can't look and see that Anakin blowing up the Death Star possibly killed millions and millions of people, I'm going to get in trouble for saying this. Oh. Fourthly, creative direction. The show's creators tried something different which is usually a good thing, but this time, it didn't work out. The story and style didn't feel like Star Wars we know and love. Like, how can you expect me to think the power of one, the power of two, the power of many is Star Wars? It's just straight up cringe. Once we're hoping for a familiar Star Wars feel with a new twist, instead, they got something that didn't feel like Star Wars at all. It was hard to connect with. When you take risks with a beloved franchise, it's important to keep the core elements that fans love while adding new ideas. The Acolyte struggled to find that balance. It felt too different, almost like it belonged to a different universe. Finally, competition and timing. The Acolyte came out when there was already many other great Star Wars shows and movies. With so much amazing content, it's easy for one show to get lost or be compared to better ones. Shows like The Mandalorian set the bar high. Fans compared the Acolyte to these hits, and it just didn't measure up. When you have so much great Star Wars content, a new show has to be exceptional to stand out. Timing is everything. Releasing the Acolyte alongside or after beloved shows puts a lot of pressure on it to perform, and if it falls short, it's quickly forgotten. In the end, the Acolyte had big shoes to fill and it couldn't quite do it. It's a reminder that even in a galaxy far, far away, not every story can be a hit. But who knows, maybe Disney will learn from this and give us something amazing next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Star Wars content. Let us know in the comments what you think went wrong with the Acolyte. See you next time, and as always, may the Force be with you.